your dog or cat runs away or worse is stolen, microchips oftentimes are the best ways to reunite families with their pets. I know we have mm -hmm. one on our pet. Same here. But Contact 5 investigator Sam Smink uncovered a loophole in the law surrounding microchips that may stop you from getting your pet back. Oh. <laughs> we all love our pets. <laughs> they become like family. We do anything to keep them safe. <laughs> to many, that means getting their pet microchipped. Microchip is a, is a very valuable thing with reuniting a lost pet with its owner. Okay, goes in. Done. I'm already in. Although the microchipping process is simple. It's as easy as just turn it on. And scans and Contact 5 uncovered the laws and ethics surrounding these tiny chips are anything but. Smokey was found under two tons of scrap metal when he was two days old. From the moment Gary Brooks of Vero Beach rescued Smokey. And the second I saw Smokey when we unburied him, I said, that one's mine. He knew it was love. Smokey became part of the family. Nickname was best cat ever. That's, that's what we called him. Then. Three years ago, he just disappeared one day, just gone. Yet Brooks said he always held out hope someone would bring Smokey home because the company Home Again had microchipped his beloved cat. This is money you put in to locate your animal if it ever right. got lost. If he ever got lost, I'd want him to be able to get, get him back. The day after Thanksgiving, Home Again called Brooks. I'm expecting to hear, here's where your cat is, go and get him. <laughs> not, not what I did here. And the woman, wanted me to give my permission to relinquish my ownership of the chip that they put in him so that the new owners uh, could have their information put on it. Brooks said no, but the company won't tell him where Smokey is or who has him. That's part of the company's privacy policy, unless required by law or law enforcement. They're representing the people who have my pet. They're not representing me. But the law isn't necessarily on Brooks' side. Now it's like we're losing him all over again. Florida law does not require vets to scan for a microchip. Yeah, we're not thinking that you stole the dog. We're thinking this is your dog. <gasps> Good girl, Spin. Even if a vet discovers a microchip is registered to someone other than the person who brought the animal in, the vet is bound by client confidentiality. It is very true. It's a very tough decision. Home Again says they're just a pet recovery service. So if someone finds your animal, they can identify who it belongs to. But if someone wants to keep your animal, a microchip does not guarantee that you'll get it back. If, if that's all the case, it's nothing more than a scam. A microchip is not proof of ownership. The law views a cat essentially as property. <laughs> that's so cute, girl. We don't have the ability to say, yes, this belongs to you or this belongs to you. We rely on the courts to make that determination. That answer doesn't make Brooks feel any better. Obviously, the laws and rules about this are, are terrible, but I want my cat back. This is just very unfair the way this whole thing works. The Indian River Sheriff's Office strongly suggests that owners keep a log and receipts of all the expenses related to their pet. That, as well as other evidence, can help prove an animal belongs to you. Home Again went on to tell us they did give Gary Brooks' number to the person who currently has Smokey, but said that's all they can do without police involvement, calling the situation a dispute between two individuals. The Indian River Sheriff's Office did call Home Again on Gary Brooks' behalf. They are waiting for more information from the microchip company. Sam